Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mark chapter 2 A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. So many gathered that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus, and after digging through it, lowered the mat the paralyzed man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there, thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts, and he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Which is easier, to forgive sins or to heal a paralytic? In the end, the answer is both are impossible outside of God's power. In the end, they are also the same thing, two sides of the same coin. The question means something different to us than it did for the skeptics, the teachers of the law in that Capernaum house, possibly Peter's. Jesus posed this question to them because he knew they had no faith at that moment. And just the fact that he asked the question should have proved something to those doubters. They were thinking these things in their hearts. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Who does this man think he is? Jesus knew their minds and called them out. That should have been enough. So should have many of the miracles he performed. But hardened hearts are hardened hearts. Jesus wants us to look to Moses and the prophets, the Bible, where God is delivered to us in his word, how he wants to be delivered to us. How many saw Jesus perform miracles and still denied him? So the question posed to the doubters that day had a specific purpose. It was a trick question in a way, because both to forgive sins and to heal are equally hard. But to prove to you empirically, Jesus seemed to say, I will raise this man right before your very eyes, and he will walk. Well, we don't need Jesus to raise the dead in front of our eyes, or make a man who is a paralyzed person walk again. For we have Moses and the prophets, Peter, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John too. We know of Christ's resurrection. We know it already. So that question that day means something a little different to us. We come to this scripture with wounds and bandages too, maybe not paralyzed, but with cancer and diabetes, with heart troubles and all sorts of ailments of both body and mind. And we wonder which is harder to forgive sins or to heal, and we also wonder if we can have both. And the answer to that, that last question is yes. In fact, healing and forgiveness are the same thing. When you are forgiven, you get healing not just healing of the soul and better relationships because you are at peace with God, but some real, honest-to-God physical healing. You just have to wait for it. Those who believe are forgiven, and they will have perfect bodies in paradise forever. For when God sees sin, he sees the results of sin too. It's two sides to the same coin, our sin and the ailments that come because of sin. And so every time the preacher forgives you, you get healing. You just have to wait. But so what? We have to wait for our sin to be completely gone. We have to wait for reconciliation between friends and family. We have to wait for our perfect souls. So what makes us think that we wouldn't also have to wait for our perfect bodies? So we wait. But it is ours. So it's a trick question again. Which is easier, to forgive or to heal? The answer is, they are the same thing for us. Let us pray. 
Dear Father, heal our slowing bodies, and teach us to know that we will have a resurrection of the body one day, so that we should fear nothing, not even death. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.